Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of January 3rd to January 9th, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aries, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are dealing with and connecting with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. I also wanted to say that if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you're interested. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week. All right, let's see, Aries, first card we have for you is the Eight of Cups in reverse, the High Priestess, the King of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. At the bottom, we have the Two of Wands. Well, interesting. I definitely feel like you're being very um, analytical this week. You're being very careful about the actions you take or the decisions you make. I feel like you're... You're observing something carefully or you're looking at something from many different angles. There is a little bit of resistance. There is a little bit of a, a resistance to trust. I feel like you're not completely trusting something or someone. You're taking your time. You're keeping your expectations kind of like balanced or even low, could be low. You're keeping your expectations low in regards to someone. You're just kind of going with the flow, I feel. Kind of like just just seeing where everything goes, like where things head towards. You're not trying to force anything or to rush anything. You're just kind of, you know, trying to go with the flow, trying to just see what happens. It's like, like I say, you're not, you're avoiding um, making assumptions. You're avoiding getting ahead of yourself you're being very productive with your time with the queen of pentacles you're very focused on yourself on your money on your career on your personal success your personal goals i feel like someone is trying to seduce you here or someone is trying to get your attention and you're kind of low-key ignoring them or not really feeding into it, feeding into them.
Yeah. I feel like someone is trying to impress you. But it's not really working. You are intrigued though. With the high priestess. I feel like you are intrigued. You are attracted. But you're you're standing in your power here and you're you're not allowing yourself to get jaded or to get um blindsided by any flashiness because this eight of wands it feels like kind of very flashy energy that is trying to get your attention so i feel like you're not Uh, you're not taking things at face value. You're giving things time to slowly reveal themselves to you. To slowly, you know, reveal their truth. You're not, you know, you're not completely just being convinced at first sight by something. Interesting. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that was general energy. So let's see if I can get more details here. See what exactly is this about. Tell me about the high priestess spirit. Okay, we have ooh, the nine of pentacles there there you are and the temperance card in reverse you see this is what i was saying about you not trusting you're not fully trusting something or someone you know there is a resistance here on your part um you're protecting yourself you know with the nine of pentacles you're protecting your energy um, you're protecting your self-worth. You're protecting everything that you've worked really hard to accomplish and to achieve in your life. I feel like you worked really hard to, to gain the stability that you currently have. And you're not going to let someone just come in and... You know, do a little bit of a flash dance here. I keep getting flash, the, the word flashy, flash for some reason. Someone do like a little bit of a flash dance and try to impress you. Um, and, you know, fool you. It's like, it's going to take a lot more than a... I don't know what this King of Cups is doing. More than a romantic gesture, romantic declaration to win you over. You might be dealing with someone who's charming, who's trying to be charming. Who's trying to charm you or who's trying to woo you. This might be new, by the way. I feel like it has a certain newness to it in the energy. Or someone who you don't you you don't know that deeply. Tell me about the King of Cups, because I feel like that's the person you're dealing with, even though we're not talking about that person yet. We're talking about you, but I feel like they're showing up here. We have the King of Pentacles. Oh, so he, this person is trying to impress you. They might be trying to impress you with their money, with their status in 
in work or in career. And we have the devil in reverse. Hmm. I feel like this person has skeletons in their closet with the devil in reverse. I do feel like they're still purging something in their life. But I don't feel like they're phony or false. I'm not getting that energy of falseness from them. But you might be skeptical. Okay, I feel like you're a little bit skeptical. This person does seem like they're 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 trying to match your energy or I don't know, I feel like they're they're matching your energy. They're at your same level. You might not be convinced of this yet, though, but I do feel, um, you know, from an outside perspective as a tarot reader, that, you know, I'm not involved in whatever, the, whatever it is that you're going through here or dealing with. I feel like this person matches you energetically. I do feel like you two have a lot of things in common. And I feel like you two are kind of at the same level in life or at the same stage in life. And yeah, I don't feel like they're phony or they're trying to deceive you, Aries, okay? Um, just wanted to say that because I can see you're, like I said, I see you're skeptical here. All right, let's move on to your person now. Actually, I maybe I should keep these cards here. Mm. Let me just keep them there. Let's see what we have for the other person. I feel this is new energy, Aries. I don't I don't recognize this energy from your previous previous readings. Spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of the person Aries is dealing with in love for this week. All right, let's see. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. The Ten of Swords in reverse. The Star in reverse. The Judgment card. The Tower in reverse. Okay. Well, I mean, it's like I was saying before. I feel like this person has some skeletons in their closet yeah i don't feel like they're completely like sharing their life with you here but i do feel like they are um dealing with something um from their past Okay. Give me a second, Aries, here. Yeah, they do have to make a decision here. The judgment card is all about, you know, make, making some sort of verdict here. Um, this person needs to cut somebody out of their life with the Ace of Swords. Like fully completely cut them out of their life i do feel like for the most part this person is out of their life but there is a little bit of unresolved conflict here with the ten of swords in reverse 
Um, yeah, like I said, I think I said that with the devil. I feel like this person is purging something still. And I feel like they're almost done. I feel like this is someone ready for something new in their life or a new beginning. And I do feel like this person is looking for a relationship. And I do feel like they are looking for a commitment. A stable commitment. Yeah. We have it here. Here of on upright. With the eight of wands. Overall looks feels like a good energy Aries. I feel like, um, like I said, I think they're holding back or they've held back some things from you, some, some details, like small details. Um, I don't feel like this person is against being honest with you though. Um, but there, there are some sensitive subjects here that this person is kind of protecting for the time being. However, I do feel like this person has the intention of being, you know, 100% honest with you, okay? So I'm not feeling a bad energy here with this person. feels pretty good. And it feels to me like they're very independent and self-sufficient. Um, I don't feel like they're looking to, looking to you to support them in any way or to... Feel, feel a void for them in any way. I feel like they've they've managed pretty well on their own. And I feel like they are just looking for com like for a company or for a partner, you know. Uh commitment. They are looking for commitment. But you know, like they just want a partner they're in life. I don't feel like they want to burden you with anything or use you in any way. So yeah, Aries, I, I don't I don't recall seeing this energy like I said in any of your previous readings. So um I feel like this is more for those of you Aries who have encountered someone new in your life or fairly new all right Aries so that's what I see I'm gonna I'm going to continue this in the extended reading and I'm going to take a deeper look at what are this person's real feelings for you um, what are their real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week Okay, if you're interested, you can follow me there. If not, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.